Files created in this video are available for download. Links are in the description. Let's press Shift and scroll down to move away from the page. Then come over to the Circles, Ellipses and Arcs tool or the letter E on your keyboard. Click and drag while pressing Control on your keyboard to create a circle. Then let's switch to Object, Fill and Stroke. Come to Stroke Paint, set it to No Paint, Fill, set it to Flat Color, and Opacity, set it to about 50%. The, ex the exact value isn't important. Then come over to Select and Transform. Make sure that the padlock or pro proportional scaling is locked. In the width property, set it to 200 pixels, or in this case it's millimeters, or just set it to 200, whatever the units are. Then press Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate the circle, and set the width to 40. Come over to the snap controls, make sure snapping is enabled. Snap cusp nodes including rectangles and corners, snap smooth nodes including quadrant points of circles and ellipses, and snap items rotation center should all be enabled. Then come click and drag on the small circle until it snaps onto the center of the larger circle. Shift and click on both circles and then let's go to create circles and ellipses and arcs and on the circles properties leave the start value as 0 and come to the end value and set it to 180 so that's 180 degrees that will change it to a half circle or change the two circles to a half circle Next, let's go to create rectangles and squares. Click and drag while holding control to create a square. Switch to the select and transform objects tool and give it a width and height of 80 pixels. Click and drag it so that it snaps to the circle i think i didn't enable snapping so let's come back to snapping and enable the snapping here on smooth nodes come back to the square once it's snapped onto the edge of the circle the bottom right corner there press ctrl d to duplicate the square come over to its width and height properties Press the division key and number 2, press enter, and you'll get a square a quarter the size of our original square. Click and drag it to the top left corner so that it snaps onto the top left corner like that. Then click the original square and come and click and drag the top, top center transform handle. And drag it until it snaps to the top right corner of the smaller square. Then shift and click while the rectangle is selected, the new rectangle. Click on the larger semicircle and come over to path, union. And that will join the rectangle and the circle together. Then shift press shift shift on your keyboard and click on the smaller semicircle and come over to path difference and that will subtract the smaller semicircle from 
the other two shapes. Then click on the new shape again to show the transform handles, the rotation handles. Then click and drag the crosshair at the center of the shape and drag it until it's at the center of the smaller square and it snaps onto the center of the smaller square. Once, it, once the crosshair has snapped on, let's control and scroll down to zoom out a bit. Then click and drag on the rotation handle. It will be this curved double arrow icon. Oh, sorry. Before we do that, uh, let me press escape to cancel that operation. First, press control D to duplicate the shape, this J shape that we've got, and then now drag it. And once it's on the opposite side somewhere like this, press the control key to snap it on. And once it's snapped on, let go of the mouse uh, button, the left mouse button, and then shift and click on the original shape and control D to duplicate it again. Click and drag. And once you reach this position, press the control key so that it snaps on and let go of the mouse button. And we don't need the small square which we are using as our guide. We can press, we can select it and press delete on our keyboard to delete it. Then click and drag over everything to select everything. And let's come over to the fill and set the opacity to 100%. So that's back to 100%. But set the fill to no paint and set the stroke paint to flat color. Let's switch over to stroke style and let's give it 10. And there you go, that's our basic Roman knot or Solomon's knot. I'm just going to click on the side to deselect everything. Uh, let me just select everything again. And I'll press the number 3 on the keyboard to bring it to zoom into the object. Then press on the side, click on the side. And that's our Solomon's knot again. The link to the file that we've just created for this tutorial is in the description and yeah thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video